<laughs> Hello, YouTube. Uh, watch this. <laughs> Die. Okay, you can stop recording. Oh. Spring break. Hello, my wonderful students. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers. So make me the happiest man alive and join the club. For today's video, we will cover Derim GUI in C Sharp. Derim GUI is a bloat free graphical user interface library for C primarily. We will use C Sharp, but it's used to create simple, efficient, and customizable GUI elements for applications and tools. I already have a video on this topic, but it's incredibly outdated and ineffective, which led to many people getting stuck and asking for help. So in this tutorial, we will cover all of those points within minutes. At the end, you will have a beautiful and compact Derim GUI application to play around with and build upon further. I love producing videos, but I don't have a job really. So if you want to support me and also get access to certain source code behind my tutorials, then check out the Patreon page. This couldn't be possible without you guys, so thank you. Like the video, write a comment, I'll take a look at it and react to it. You can join the Discord server. Now enjoy this tutorial. Woohoo! Welcome to another showcase. So, for today's video, we will cover their GUI in C Sharp. So, I know you guys have had a lot of issues with the versions of clickable transparent overlay and so on, and a lot. So this tutorial will be aimed to create a simple project with a small amount of code and a very easy structure to get started using Darim GUI. So this is all of the code that we will explore, but this little amount of code will actually put out a fairly complicated window or interesting window at least so just these lines will create this beautiful window it has a slider it has a text with a color input or edit that you can change the color of the text uh, let's pick better green a checkbox value these are all tracked and you can use these values an integer input field and you can just continue on this project on your own create something beautiful from this so i hope you guys enjoy today's tutorial and i'll see you very soon so we we'll begin this tutorial by opening visual studio in the project creation tab here we select the C Sharp console app. The .NET version will be the eighth one. And let's begin. So the first thing we will do is to click on the project tab and manage the new get packages. Here we will browse for the clickable transparent overlay and install the version 9.1.0. This is because the newer versions had some problems displaying the menu fully on the screen, so install the version 9.1.0. And if anyone has the solutions for these issues, let me know in the comments. And to create some structure in the project, we will create a new class for the renderer. This class will handle all of the drawing stuff, so let's import our libraries and also inherit the overlay class to our renderer. We will also need to override the render method for this to work. We will now head back to the program.cs file. Then we will create a new instance of our renderer class and run it in a different thread. This way we can separate the drawing and the logic. Let's create our first window by going into the render function and writing imgui.begin and then the window name. 
if we now run it, you should see a window with the name of our choosing. Let's continue and add some more features. With the imgui.txt, we can write a simple label. So we run it again, and there you can see hello there. You can add sliders with imgui.slider, then the data type, which shows float here. We can set a label, but we also need a value to refer to. So here we have our slider value beneath the class. Now we can refer to that slider value, set the minimum value and the maximum value. A slider will now appear and you can drag it changing our slider value. Pretty cool. Let's take an input value, an integer. So we create the variable input value and give it the default value of 50. Then again, like the slider, we can access the input int with imgui and have a label and refer to our variable. If we run it again, we can see that we have a new input text box that takes integers. We have also a plus and minus button to increase or decrease the value. Pretty neat. Let's keep it going by adding a checkbox. So we will be needing a boolean value, true or false, to refer to this checkbox, either being checked or unchecked. Then we can just add the imgui.checkbox with its label and again refer to our variable above. And if we run it again, we can now see a checkbox with its label. All right, let's try out some colors. So imgui uses either vector4 or unsigned integers as the colors. So let's create a vector4 color value that has a default value of 1111. We will also add an imgui color edit 4 for vector4 that changes this color value. Let's add an imgui end to our window really quick. And if we run it again, we can see that we now have a color edit 4 with the RGBA values, but also a square that allows us to use the color picker. Let's try out a text colored as well by changing our hello there message to use imgui.textColored with our color value now instead. This will make it so when we change the color in the color edit, it changes our text above. Pretty cool. So that will be it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. Remember to let me know what other things you want me to cover, other video ideas, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. So make sure to subscribe, join team and all of that. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.